Okay. Um, kind of had a different video plan for tonight, but uh, been having some issues with some bad storms in the area, so I just figured I'd do like a real quick one while I actually had uh, uh, some decent time to shoot some footage because we've been having some issues. But uh, anyways, uh, thought I'd uh, show off my uh, uh, Lionel AEC Atomic Energy Commission uh, cars that they put out in the 90s. They're always pretty cool. Um, first one up, the let's see, these came out in 97, I think. Oh, I forgot the names because each one of these clear ones actually had kind of a cool name with it. But uh, you had the blue one, purple, and then green came out. Um, and then the green one. Let's see which one of these is showing up on the camera pretty good. Actually, probably is the green one. Yeah, these don't really show up on video very well. But there's like a um, they got uh, fluid in there, and uh, they put a little marble in there to keep it uh, keep it kind of mixed up. It's a pretty cool effect, especially if you get some good lighting behind it. It just doesn't show up very well on those. And then in '98, they came out with the black one. Unfortunately, the black one's just not a vibrant color, so it just kind of Looks a little meh in a way with it. Um, but yeah, they've used this setup a few other times. Like there's a, a Halloween car that's got like red in it. It's supposed to be blood or whatever. And then uh, they got the Star Trek Romulan Ale right now, which I think is a blue. And then I think I saw one that kind of was like a, like a white sort of. I think it was supposed to be like snow flurries or something. But I always get a kick out of these cars. I think they're pretty cool and it kind of got me... Uh, going on collecting some of their weirder AEC uh, rolling stock that wasn't, you know, like reproduction stuff. Because Lionel did make AEC uh, labeled cars back in the post-war era. And then uh, MPC, Fun Dimensions era, they put out a couple of different things here and there. But most of it was just rehashes. But then in uh, 98, uh, they put out a glow-in-the-dark box car. In 99, this one came out. And then... We got uh, the blue and the purple one. I just got the purple one in, so I don't know how well it glows in the dark. This red one's not the best. The blue and the green uh, definitely uh, glow the best. And then later on, they came out with um, that uh, yellow and white uh, tank car. We'll go down there, actually. Because uh, I didn't realize I ran out of room over there because I got a train staged. But yeah, you got the yellow one and then the white one. These glow okay. But uh, this one came out in 2000. This one was uh, 2009. And I think that is it for the uh, Glow in the Dark stuff. Uh, they did come out with a Glow in the Dark diesel that goes for quite a bit of money. And then I think there might be like some other power unit maybe that glows. But I don't quite recall. But uh, yeah. I always thought these were kind of cool little cars, kind of interesting little novelty cars. Um, here real quick, scoot that back, sorry. Uh, actually picked up uh, some of the um, uh, 6464 boxcar uh, series they did in the 90s. These are real nice, got uh, sprung trucks and everything on them. Um, yeah, picked up a couple of them. And, you know, being in Missouri, had to had to get the set with the uh, Missouri Pacific. But um, yeah, real nice cars, real well done. I think I'm gonna get a couple more sets of these just for uh, freight usage. Uh, the reason this doesn't have a locomotive, I'm waiting on a pilot or a steam chest, if you will, for it. Uh, that's the nickel plate road uh, that they released in the '80s, but uh, got a little damaged in shipping. But you know, things happen, so it's just kind of. Waiting on from some parts, because that was actually what I was going to shoot tonight, maybe, but still waiting on that. So, um, go ahead and pause this for a second. Uh, bring a locomotive around, and we'll do a little bit of footage of these guys running.